Now let's look at putting the sticks in the hands. Again, just kind of wiggle your hands so they're nice and loose and relaxed. Bend the elbows up. And notice how my fingers are kind of curved. This actually creates a platform for the stick to sit in. We're going to just lean forward and grab the sticks and set it in this platform, like this. Now I'm going to close my hands. Notice how the sticks come up off of the drum. I'm also pulling the stick into the crevice of my palm. This also allows the pads of the fingers to be on the stick so we can gain maximum leverage from the use of the fingers. So I'm in the closed position. I'm going to open it, just let the sticks fall. Close. Open. Close. Open. Close. Notice how when I open, the stick bounces. I can use my fingers to enhance and sustain that bounce. And I can stop it, I just close my hands. These are the basic three moves that we're going to use in this technique. The open, the bounce, and the close. Now that we've talked about how the body moves naturally, let's talk about how the sticks want to move. First issue is kind of what I call the angle of attack, meaning how high your hand is in relation to the surface that you're playing. I found that I get the most rebound from the drum the closer to parallel that I can play. The stick naturally will give you more rebound from this position than it will from the higher position. It also allows you to be in position for rim shots. A rim shot is a, just a slight adjustment of, the, of the, the hand versus from a higher position, you have to move more to make a rim shot. Here is a simple device we've constructed to demonstrate how the angle of attack affects the rebound of the stick. Let's number the lines on the background from one to six. Line six will be at the top, line one at the bottom. First, we'll demonstrate a high angle of attack. We put the stick in the ready position by lining the tip of the stick up with the top line. When the stick is released, notice that the tip bounces back to halfway between the third and fourth line on the first rebound, to the second line on the second rebound, and to the first line on the third rebound. Now let's demonstrate a low angle of attack. Again, we put the stick in the ready position by lining the tip of the stick up with the top line. When we release the stick, notice that this time the tip bounces all the way back to line four on the first rebound, to line three on the second rebound, and to line two on the third rebound. This simple experiment proves that a lower angle of attack allows more rebound from the stick than a higher angle of attack. Once the stick hits, Notice that the natural movement of the stick, the butt end drops below the surface of the drum. If I was to let go of the stick, the stick would literally go straight down. See, I'll even try it here, see what happens. What we're going to do with our hand is catch it as it goes down. That's going to be the open, and then when we close our hand, that's the close. But So we're going to follow the natural momentum of the stick and try and be as close to parallel when we hit the head as possible.